if you're going to study flatus, you have to find a way to trap it, to collect it. And that's been done in the, going back to the uh, 50s, there was a, uh, one of the first, well, the very, very first was actually a guy in Paris who got hold of bodies that had been guillotined. Uh, and this was a lovely tie-in with Stiff because I read about the guy who got the heads. There was a, a, a researcher who got the heads and um, for a different research project, but this is the guy who got the body, so it all sort of came full circle. And uh, so uh, Professor or Dr. Majondi, uh, he, uh, he knew what these guys had had as their last meal. So he had sort of a controlled experiment, and he extracted uh, gas from all different points along the intestinal tract. It was a very simple paper, and, and not um, you know, there wasn't a lot that he learned there. But uh, I, I appreciated the kind of creativity and zest for gore. Uh, that went on. But then um, fast forward to the 40s and 50s and the, and the way that this was done was uh, uh, the way that you would think, which is a rectal tube and a balloon. And there was this guy uh, in Chipping Camden, not far from Stratford-upon-Avon, and his name perfectly was Colin Leakey. <laughs> his name is Colin Leakey. And uh, so he, Colin Leakey had these people who were, and he described them, he described how the, like the tube went and it was taped here and then it was attached to this and he described people and he said they, they would walk around the hospital grounds um, in gowns and I think he meant hospital gowns but I, I sort of wasn't sure, maybe it was ball gowns, I don't know. Um, but the rectal tube tends to clog and it's uncomfortable and it's not really a good way to do it. So uh, the, the way that... Um, the way that Michael Levitt uh, would, he, there were two ways. One was very, very simple. It's called the flatographic tally. And that is simply you have a piece of paper and every time you fart, you make a mark. Okay, but this has some built-in problems because depending, you take the same volume of gas and if you're somebody who's very discreet and ladylike and doesn't want anyone to know, you let it out in like 15 tiny squeakers. Okay, but if you're a guy who's like with a bunch of other guys and they're, well, I don't know, at a sports bar or something or wherever they're in the living room it's one big basso basso profundo gale and you mark down one so same amount and that means that the lady like the, the person who's being very ladylike and discreet will appear by flatographic tally to be more flatulent and isn't so that is not a good that's not a particularly accurate way to do it and i know that it's not accurate because his michael levitt found that the average tally is 22 per day and i know that's low Okay, because I, certain people in my family have been requested to, to keep a flatographic tally, and uh, it's up in the 30s, so I, th that's not a good method. The other, um, the, the uh, method that Michael Levitt eventually, well, there's the, the, the flatus trapping pantaloons, that was one thing, but he also came up with something called the, um, the breath hydrogen test, and that is so much easier on the subject, because that's just a mylar bag, you eat some beans or chili, and then uh, you wait a certain amount of time and you inhale the mylar bag and you see how much hydrogen is there. Because um, bacteria in your colon are the ones that create intestinal gas. They're in there, you're basically, you're farting their farts. It, they're, they're creating this gas but when they break down the material that ends up in your colon. So they produce a lot of hydrogen when they do this. And some of that hydrogen is uh, absorbed into your blood and uh, ends up being goes into your lungs and is exhaled. So you can extrapolate from the hydrogen that you're exhaling, you can extrapolate how much you are exhaling out the other mouth. <laughs> so, um, but again, if you have the person, the, the, the embarrassed and discreet ladylike individual who is holding it in, then a lot more of it is gonna be absorbed into the blood and exhaled, therefore upping your flatulence rating uh, uh, unfairly. So, um, so this, see, this is what I love about you have to. There's so many considerations just for something as simple as as flatulence.